Well, what you're looking at here is the overwash that was created in 2006 from Hurricane Ernesto. Here, uh, the hurricane, which was a minor uh, hurricane when it came through this area, uh, overwashed the dunes and created this overwash area and uh, has uh, rejuvenated our salt marsh. Good healthy salt marsh is um, considered to be a pretty vulnerable um, ecosystem and there are species that are really um, specific to that kind of habitat that um, they're, you know, the largest portion of their range is, you know, even just with on the Atlantic coast salt marshes. So um, from a national and even global standpoint, the salt marshes along the um, Atlantic coast and in the northeast are really considered very important. You know, providing more salt marshes is, is uh, a wonderful thing not only locally but on a landscape level because salt marshes are at a premium, especially for the birds that are going to be negatively impacted by climate change and sea level rise. Having the tool, full tidal range will bring in sediment um, and that helps to the marsh to accrete, which is to build you know, vertically and help keep pace with sea level rise. By having a healthy marsh uh, up against the uplands, it, it absorbs that storm energy, slows the storm, ener uh, the storm down, uh, the wave action or that energy coming in, and acts as a buffer to the uplands. The main thing we got to do is to provide, make sure we have healthy, resilient habitats. Providing healthy salt marsh um, is our best defense at this time to fight the, the fight of sea level rise for us.